a tonight video so you can see it's dark outside. So first of all, there is information on silver that we know about that most people don't. That's factual. So yes, the people who watch these silver channels do have amazing memories. The people who, who watch YouTube, from my observation, have memories that are much stronger than most people. They remember things. And one of the things that people remember is the silver being used in the Manhattan Project. So I've got an article from the AtomicArchive.com, and this is referenced from the National Science Digital Library. So you look at these sources, very trusted sources. Now, in this article it says the Army had to borrow almost 15,000 tons of silver to make the Manhattan Project. 15,000 tons of silver. That's one of those kind of like science fiction uses for silver. I'll bet at the time nobody expected that they would make this nuclear, this atomic bomb project, I mean it was top secret of course, and that would require all the silver. This is one of those like science fiction uses and as technology gets better, the elements we have find new uses. Look at these um, rare earths and all those magnets and whatnot, right? So there is some truth and you're learning some things, but here's the thing is, you got to be able to verify the sources. A lot of stuff we're hearing, you can't verify or it's verified wrong. For example, I still hear people posting, or it's not here, I read people posting, right? I don't hear the posts, right? It's not like this. I hear them posting, no, I watch, see the posts where they're saying things like, yeah, every missile contains a monster box of silver. A couple years ago, that was in a story, and I repeated that on, on my channel, others did, and someone said, well, can you find the source? I can't, and I couldn't find it, and no one else could find it. So in a, in a later video, I said, guess what, guys, I'm sorry. I repeated something. I couldn't find the source. Now, I don't know how much silver is in a missile. It could be an insi insignificant amount. Maybe there's a, but, but I don't know. And I don't think anybody really knows the silver community. So if you want to become like a silver expert, um, you cannot repeat things unless you verify them. Like, for example, the... As a silver expert, you can say, yes, Manhattan Project, I got the link and I'll post it and you can read that. But I don't have a link for the missile because no one could find one. Now, if there is a link, I will provide it and show it, but that is not a proven thing. So that's something you got to be careful about repeating. Now, here's the third thing, right? I want this video. I saw, well, I talked about that there is the no silver shortage in it. In it I mean, and no, no silver um extinction thing this past summer and I talked about it. I, I looked at the actual um, USGS data. Now, one of my YouTube friends went deeper. He did a video, a 14 minute video, where he went really, really deep into information. He found the source, you know, I found the source, it was um, Ted Butler on Friedman's Theory from like 2005 or so. And this is what this video says. It says that when you look at the, when you look at the report, you can look at the report, the, the 50, the, 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 it, um, the 570, 570, tons of silver from that report um, were listed as the reserve base, right? The reserve base is not the resource base. The reserve base does not include, and I'm going to read the report, the reserve base does not include undiscovered silver or mine expansions. That means if you got a silver mine, right, and the mine expands and gets more silver, that is not included in the reserve base. This reserve base is not the resource base. Now, the number that Ted Butler gives is the reserve base. So he's given a number that doesn't apply at all, okay? Now, um, this is the trail I've seen, you know, you know, because people take stuff down and links change, but from... From what I've seen and what this other um, channel seen is that the entire premise behind the silver going extinct is just faulty. It's completely wrong. First of all, they use the wrong number. They use the reserve base. They're not using a resource base. They're using a reserve space, right? A res the reserve base is not all the silver in the ground. It's, it's, a, it's 
it's not the whole thing. It's using the wrong number. And this took wings. Like if you like Google like USGS silver and stuff like that, the stuff that goes to the top are all these faulty articles based upon that. And there's a lot of them. So if you have someone who wants to invest in silver and they decide to use Google, they will hit all these wrong links. And if they don't go further, they can be fooled by this thing because really that's not what it says. Here also, um, Another quote, the U.S. Geological Survey estimates the silver will become extinct by 2020. That's from Adrian Douglas from GATA. But the U.S. Geological Survey does not say that. And in fact, um, my friend who did that video, he actually contacted some of these organizations and asked the question. They said, no, we never said that, right? So you have people on the Internet who are misquoting things that are not correct, and the actual source says it's not correct, right? Think about that. Now, some people were saying, like, I'm an anti-silver shill. Well, if there's something that's, that's wrong, and I correct it, am I being an anti-silver shill? Think about that, right? Now, if I were to do videos and, and ignore misinformation, and only tell you about things like the uh, Manhattan Project in silver, that is a true thing, right? That's a true thing. There's a lot of true things in silver. If I only told you that, would that be the whole story, right? But if I tell you things that are true and not true, does that make me an anti-silver shill? Because there are reasons for holding silver. The question you should ask is the price of silver overpriced or underpriced? That is the real question. All of these like black-hearted haters who, who post comments, right? They would say there's a certain price of silver where they would buy a whole lot of it, right? It's it's not that they hate silver. It's they think that the current price is too expensive, right? They think they think it's going to go down or something, right? It's not that they hate silver. If these guys hated silver, why would they post all over the comments, right? They want to buy silver, but they want to buy it at a lower price. That's their incentive. They want to buy silver at a lower price. So you might be saying, well, they're bashing silver. Well, if they're giving you information that is correct, right? Are they really bashing silver? Just like those who want it to go up are giving you certain information, right? The, the, the key is you have to, you have to cross pollinate or whatever, you know, that, that's kind of a, a corny saying, but yeah, because you know, corns have pollen. Know. But, but what happens is for those who are, are, are sounding anti-silver and those who are sounding pro-silver, you have to cross and see what they're saying because some people, each side is telling you something true, but each side might not be telling you something true. So if you want to know, you got to look at the data yourself. So thanks for watching and we'll all learn something.